on the 72nd flight of its five-flight mission, Ingenuity suffered catastrophic damage when its rotor blades contacted a sand ripple during landing. Now it's beaming back new images from tests that expose the extent of the destruction. On this episode of Mars Guy. Late last month, the world learned that the overachieving little helicopter on Mars had made its final flight. After struggling to navigate in a landscape with few landmarks, Ingenuity's 72nd flight was intended to help it regain its bearings. But after the short pop-up flight, it apparently misjudged its position relative to the ground, resulting in its four-foot-long rotors slamming into a sand ripple at more than 2,500 RPM. In the first post-flight color image, the shadow from one of its four carbon fiber blades showed a ragged edge in place of a once elegantly tapered tip. The shadow of a second blade came into view as the sun rose in the morning sky. It too was horribly disfigured. This sequence of images taken over three hours starting at about six in the morning shows a pronounced loss of focus over that time maybe due to the effects of thermal expansion on the camera optics. Despite the blade damage, Ingenuity is still able to receive commands and send back data to Perseverance for return to Earth. This provides the engineers with an opportunity to learn from the aftermath of the first helicopter accident on another world. Ingenuity can participate in its own post-mortem. The first test was probably a servo wiggle as shown on Flight 54 with Mars Guy for scale. This is something Ingenuity did prior to every flight to test the mechanisms that control rotor pitch. For the post-mortem test, the team commanded Ingenuity to acquire high frame rate nav cam images, presumably to better capture any movements. Here it is again in slow motion. The movements are subtle and not those of a fully successful servo wiggle. Four sols later, the next test ran twice as long, but showed barely any movement. This was maybe a servo wiggle test that failed after the software detected operational parameters that were out of scope. Another three sols passed, and another test was conducted, this one lasting about 16 seconds. And finally, this time, the rotors showed more dramatic movements. It's still not clear to me whether this was a servo wiggle test or maybe a blade wiggle test. Here's how the first ever blade wiggle looked after Ingenuity's rotors were released at the start of the mission. The final test to date happened on Sol 1059, observed with a whopping 700 frames lasting nearly 23 seconds. This time the test is clear. It was a blade wiggle similar to its first ever one, but with each rotor only spinning about a quarter turn. But this revealed a devastating reality that's now evident in all of the preceding tests. One of the blades is missing. There should be a blade shadow here, which would rotate through the scene like observed with the two blades on the other rotor. Instead, only one blade shadow is evident. Additional evidence for this catastrophic damage can be seen in a mosaic of images shot at maximum zoom with mass cam Z while Perseverance was parked about 450 meters away. Ingenuity appears with two of its truncated blades, just barely visible. The third one is probably hidden by the solar array. The fourth blade is probably here near what is likely a divot in the sand made after being hurled from Ingenuity when it slammed into the ground during landing. Hopefully there will be even higher resolution images coming from the telescope of SuperCam to help tell this story. Perseverance has now relocated to a position where Ingenuity is back in view after being hidden by a hill in the previous location, which precluded SuperCam images. Meanwhile, Ingenuity has sent back two more color images taken at the same time of day, but two sols apart. That's enough to help reveal a solar highlight in the scene, presumably a reflection of the sun from the crinkled surface of Ingenuity's shiny thermal blanket. 
it's also a reflection of the seemingly sunny disposition of a robotic explorer not yet ready to give up.